Hello, hello, hello. My sound's not even that good. Phew. Welcome back to Not My Fridge. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I just don't want to do my fridge. Um, and I said we were going to do 10 declutters with me in the 10th month of October, and today is the last day of October. So it had to be today. And then we're having a little run around all day, and she had a friend over, and it just by the time I had the food shop this morning and by the time I actually had food in my fridge and the <laughs> and my child uh, was to bed and everything I just really not want to do the fridge anymore so I'm not going to because the fridge needs a good clean as well so it was going to be quite a big I want to focus on that um, and I'll do that at, at another time because it does need a bit more of an organisation um, I just haven't decided quite what I want to do with my fridge yet um, I guess I don't know to get this moment soon sometimes you pick something else to do so this is actually one of my goals for November as well so this is a double win and so we do goal setting in the membership and um, we do a monthly meetup and we go through all our monthly goal setting we do a bit of a review of the month that's been and I work through setting out all our months and we do our month overview plan and we had that on Monday what day was it Monday last week no Friday we had that on Friday evening um, so I've got all those set and one of the ones was that I wanted to sort out this bad boy. So I don't know if you remember in the first one, I've now just got this one for clothes of this size and then the other side of the wardrobe is sort of empty. It's got a few Christmas presents in it at the moment, but it's sort of empty. It's heading in the direction of being empty. It's empty from clothes and it's just got a few other bits and pieces in there um, that will be slowly sort of relocated elsewhere. And then we've got this, which is three chests of drawers. I know you can't see, so we've got a, four, a small four drawer on this side, a small four drawer on the five side, and the uh, far side, and then a five wide drawer in the middle. And the plan is that the two small ones will become my daughter's and will leave this room, and the bigger one will just be my clothes. That's what I've decided, and um, is I don't want any more clothes than fits in that than this and half of one of these. Um, couple of exceptions is my coats, so my coats with elsewhere, um, and my ball gowns because I've kept this side that's got the shoe racks in and while most of my long dresses, my long dresses that I would wear more often or my midi lengths, I'm quite happy to loop over hangers, the ball gowns are better kept fully full length hung. Um, so they are staying in my daughter's wardrobe for the moment, but I will need to come up with another solution at some point because she will not always have the massive wardrobe. Her wardrobe is ginormous at the moment. Like she has a den in it. She has, it's not full of clothes. It's pretty much empty. It's got my ball gowns on, a small section of her clothes, and then it's got big pillows in the middle and she uses it as a hide away. But she won't have that forever, so I need to come up with um, I'll review my ball gowns at some point. I've gone through, I've got rid of quite a few of them. I've got one that I just don't know if I'll ever wear again, but I don't think I want to let go of it. It's a bit sentimental. Um, I got third runner up in a beauty pageant in it and it's amazing. And I don't know, I don't want to let go of that one. Um, and then I think I've maybe got three or four. I think I've got two blues, a red, and then this sort of burnt orange dress and I don't really want to let go of any of them. The two blues and the red one don't take up much space. They're super comfy, just lovely, lovely dresses. Really simple, feel great in them, look great in them, you can dance in them, they fit me at lots of different sizes. Um, and then the burnt orange one has pockets. I don't think I need to say anything else than that. <laughs> it's a ball gown with pockets, so I'm not, of course, I'm not going to let go of that. But I might, I might look at a boxing that one, a boxing that and the the white one up. Because if I'm ever going to wear those, I'm going to have a lot more notice. Whereas the other ones, um, they would go over folded hangers like I have my dress in here. So anyway, that's by the by. Um, so what I've got to do is sort out this, <laughs> sort out this system. What's going on here? So what we've got at the moment, I've emptied out a lot of the far drawers. So in the far drawer side. Um, I had a swimwear, a long sleeve sort of top layer gym kit section, 
and then just a big hoodie type ones swimwear and jewelry and then this side was strappy tops and t-shirts more under layer type ones as opposed to they were actual tops but um but i rarely wore them as such um shorter bottoms so shorts knee length ones and longer ones um and then this one i kept empty as a sort of i worn it a couple of times but it wasn't really dirty types it maybe had a half a day left in it or if i was in painted clothes all day and i just wanted to put something non-painty on or um and it sort of slowly had become just my painting clothes because i'll wear them for like half a day and there's no point in washing them because by the paint i'll wait until i'm going to wear them for another painted job where it doesn't matter if i'm going to smell there anyway um and that kind of became that which is this pile here because now i've pulled all those ones out and um, we can't leggings this is so this one's become what will be so i've been starting to siphon stuff off to be workwear i've got some playback t-shirts i want to get my branding put on um but me being me i wasn't about anything new and then a couple of pairs of leggings that are gonna be work leggings i mean these obviously great cover um, but I have some leggings that work leggings so that I don't ruin leggings that I love working on on sort of messy jobs and stuff like that so I've been slowly siphoning those off this became pyjamas yeah so this is PJs I'm just taking everything out as I kind of categorise it so this is PJs and loungewear jumpers I don't really have loungewear loungewear I just have a couple of jumpers that I will wear as loungewear but I will also wear them to bed um, but then to be honest, sometimes I really fancy wearing them just normally and then we'll also wear them normally too. But um, they were, they are meant to just be loungewear jumpers. They just often get additional uses. Um, this is still, yeah, strappy tops and t-shirts. So most of this is already categorised, so that's the thing we'd, we'd be doing, isn't it? Is we'd be categorising our items together. A lot of the minimising has already happened, but uh, that drawer is nicely empty already. Um, so this one is all gym kit. Um, this is all gym kit. This one is hair. Is there any names looking at me? No, that's just hair stuff. Then this one is makeup and hair stuff. And then the top one is underwear, socks, pants, etc, etc. Um, what I want to, I'm going to get a piece of paper actually. What my plan is, guys, how many open is this? How cute is this? I got this for free on Olio today. Very pleased with myself. I thought it was an A4. I've got two A4 clipboards that I don't like, but and then neither are quite right, but they both serve a purpose. And so I'm keeping, I'm keeping an eye out for a, a clipboard. I thought this was A4 and it's not. So now I'm like, oh, do I need to keep the other ones? And I'm thinking, I think I'm just going to keep this one and get rid of the other two. Now, the plan was to get this one that I thought was A4. And then it's so much nicer than my other ones. And just such a nicer size to deal with. So, um, yeah, I think that's actually paid off. It's lovely, lovely little wooden one. Yes, I'm very pleased with it. So I'm going to use that. Let's get a pen. Oh, so I've got five drawers. Um, and I would love, if I wasn't doing this on camera, what I would get is everything out, but then it's going to be very hard for me to, <laughs> to just, like actually look at the camera and stuff. So I've got five drawers. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. Five drawers. My really badly drawn chest of drawers. And um, so top one, I want to be socks, pants, bras, don't even know if any of them are like cami tops, because well bras are evil. Bras are evil. And um, and the PJs. I want to fit my PJs in there. So at the moment. All of that is in there apart from the PJs. Um, I have decluttered it predominantly. 
Uh, I don't think there's anything else that I'll get rid of in there. Um, so it's just about rejigging it round now. There's space in there, but how I'm going to best fit it all in. Um, and it is one of the areas I would like to buy some better dividers for because I think I will save a lot of space if I have some better dividers for my smaller socks and my pants. My pants have got some crisscross things in um, and I've got some good cardboard. So I might actually make some of the dividers like this ones um, just to make sure it's going to work uh, before I buy some of making the arts and crafts um, because I don't have anything else to do. I have that sarcasm that I have lots of us to do. Um, I don't think anything else will fit in there. I think that will be, might possibly get somewhere in there too. So I'm going to put brackets in there with a question mark. We'll see, we'll see how that goes. Because especially in the winter, I only have a huge tiny amount somewhere. And then I'd be able to swap out some of my thicker jumpers in the winter, in the summer, for my other bits of somewhere. Because quite often I'll just walk around the house in a bikini because it's hot in the summer. Um, so then the next one down, I want to try and get all my hair and makeup stuff in one. I'm not the sort of person that does my hair and makeup a huge amount. Um, so I feel like I should, in theory, be able to do that. Not jewellery but hair and makeup stuff would like to have that all together in one. Um, so we're going to call that hair and makeup. You see, that's where I need to do a lot of magic to make that work. Um, I think it can be done, I think there's a space. Um, but yeah, it's working out like the best way of doing it. And is there some stuff that's maybe better elsewhere but I kind of still want to keep it within these two so there's a big shelf at the top of this wardrobe that fits two of these baskets in it perfectly and um, so it might be that I utilize some of those for some of the hair stuff that I don't use very much or something along those lines but undecided and um, which leaves me with three drawers left right what else have I got to fit in <laughs> Not jumpers, gym kit. So it's these bottom three. So I've got my painty stuff, which I think will probably end up in one of the baskets far up the top. Um, gym kit, I need quite a lot of easy access to, so that is probably going to need its own drawer. So let's do that one as the next one gym kit and I would like to try and get some of the jumpers that I just wear for the gym in the gym kit one as well. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Um, the strappy tops and lower t-shirts I've got this little space, I don't know if you can see here. So there's three pairs of shoes across the back and there's space for three more pairs of shoes across the front. Um, and those probably won't stay. I'm struggling to let go of them at the moment. Um, they're really comfy, they're my gym trainers, they're really comfy but they've lost all the grip on the bottom and there's very little support in them. But my other gym trainers that I've got that haven't lost the grip and support are, I don't know, they're just not quite as comfy and I'm so fussy with what's on my feet. Um, however, I wear them so little because as soon as I can take my shoes off in the gym, I do. So once I've done things like the bike or the rower or the runner, I'll be in my socks <laughs> or bare feet, which I'm not meant to do, but, um, and I don't like wearing them. I have outdoor running shoes that are completely different. So those do need to just go, but I'm, I'm just having a little bit of a sentimental moment. And as I don't have many other things, <laughs> it doesn't matter too much, but anyway, there's some things here. I've got a basket that would fit quite nicely that I think will probably have my like soft underlayer t-shirts, strappy tops will go in that. I'm thinking, and un not fully decided, but that's the plan. Let's open the drawer out. There we go. That, that door doesn't stay open otherwise it's really irritating. So I don't think I need to worry about those. Um, 
which leaves me with two drawers and I've got workwear, big jumpers. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I've got workwear and big jumpers, that's it. Um, I feel like one of my favourite big jumpers is missing, but actually it goes on a hanger anyway, so when it does appear, um, that'll go back on the hanger. I'm looking around, I don't feel like much of my stuff is missing at the moment. No. Cool. Right. So I'm gonna I'm not gonna write down what I'm going for for the bottom ones. I'm gonna actually start with I'm gonna start with the gym. No I'm not. Let's start the top. Let's start the top. Start to need to go on. Just realised that the this is plugged in but the light's not actually on. Oh that's bright. Right, so let's come up. I'm gonna bring you up, 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 up. Right. And then keep going. <laughs> and then let me tip it up and then you can get me. There we go, right. So let's start at the top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move that's plugged in. That's always good. Move these out of the way. Because then what we can do is this is obviously the same size as the drawer. <laughs> so it will give me an idea of what will fit in here. And right, I've got a very lovely friend that gave me all these boxes, which I've been using as the dividers. So I'm going to start by bringing this all out here. So I would normally probably just do this in the drawer. Um, like I said, floor and drawer, but it's a bit harder when I'm trying to do it on camera. So here we go. Let's bring these out. Bring this one out to here. So we've got sports socks, normal socks, bras, which for me are just like these little cami strappy top things because I hate bras. I have got some bras, but um, I don't even keep them in this drawer. They're in like a home thing in the wardrobe. I'll just put my nail and it's really low and it really hurts. <laughs> I think I might have to go and get one of those little plastic tips put on it. I don't think I'm going to be able to deal with it like this for very long. So, anyways, never mind. Anyway, I digress. Um, so, all three of these are empty. So, if all my pajamas fit in that space, it would be perfect. However, fairly sure they're not going to. Um, <laughs> So what we've got here is pants in all these little separate divider things. So these are my favourite things for pants and because I basically have black and nude, <laughs> that is it. Um, it's very simple, but I would love to have a longer one of these that then can have all my thinner socks in. So sports socks, a lot of my sort of, yeah, basically all my smaller pairs of socks I would like to have in this kind of setup as well, but have it as a bigger one. Um, and at the moment this I think I have bath bombs in it this cardboard thing I've had it for so long I can't actually remember and then this is a critic tray that came out of a set that I bought for something else and it was a spare one and it kind of just happened to fit quite well and um, however I do need more of a space now I normally would hoover this out so my little one sleeping next door, so I'm not going to do that today. I will have to have him at a later date. So I feel like these two are fairly tightly packed. How many did I get? I did. Oh, not quite. I had to test this out, I'm trying to work out. The drawer's a little bit narrower than the top. Across fit. Ah, yes. So five across just fit, um, which is quite nice. Um, so they fit across the front, which leaves a really nice long run for PJs and stuff at the back, or vice versa for these at the back and the PJs at the front. Um, which means I need pants to fit in here, 
then I've got one pair of tights, which I think we can probably do something else with those. Tights can go in here. Um, and then I've got two pairs of leg warmers because leg warmers are awesome. Um, so awesome. When you are tall and your trousers don't cover down your ankles, you put your leg warmers on. I mean, I've got, I've got long, you can see it, I've got long socks on. Um, love long socks. Long socks are the best. Um, but these are my only pair of super longs. And I love these, love these ones. That takes some time. I've had them for so long, they just happen to be the right colour. Um, that go with my jumper. Whew. Um, so I have two pairs like this, which are like hiking socks, and they kind of more go with those um, than anything else. And then those are actually pajama socks, but these would normally be in that section as well. Um, and then we've got pajamas to fit in. So. Why does it feel like something's missing? I know all the bras fit in there. Um, hmm. I think the pajama socks could go in there with leg warmers, and there's still just about enough space for. So if all my pyjama socks happen to be clean at the same time, I think they would just about fit all of them in there. That's one option. And then I need to reconfigure my pant divider to fit in there, um, which won't be quite one of the that we got. So I'm going to reconfigure these to fit into here. I think I'll just get a bit pull out and go for it. Because these each of these holes is a little bit too it's too short and they're too thick to really utilize the space. So I need to make some new but it kind of works. I've just done that, just sort of squished it up. Yeah. I need to kind of redo that at some point, but it gives me at least something for now, and I will do some arts and crafts <laughs> with the cardboard I've got downstairs at some point. Because um, I know the number of holes that I had match the number of pairs of pants that I had. Um, it's just convenient that there are some pants in the wash tonight, so that'll fit me for now. But I know that as soon as I've got a full set, clean set of underwear, it won't fit in there. I need to make some more. If I make them taller and thinner, they will fit in there. So I need to gain one, two, three, four. I need to gain another four holes in there by cutting those out better. Um, right, so I'm going to slide those in. I'm not sure if they're staying at the front of the back of the drawer, but so nicely for the moment they are going to be. And then we need the pajama pile. Still got to work out where you are going. One more pair of socks. The pajama pile would fit at the back. One of these that will fit just back nicely and still leave space. Um, and what I might do is use it as actually as a divider, so I'm going to move it along. Um, 
trying to work out what makes sense. And for me, what makes sense is making that my pyjama socks. And so I'm going to move my pyjama socks back into there. And then I've got two of these pairs, so um, they can go in with my leg warmers. Um, yeah, I feel like that makes makes more sense apart from being able to just switch these around. So it's pants, bras, and then all the socks, different types of socks are together. So kind of grouping them together, that makes a bit more sense. And then uh, let's get these out of the way because we don't need these now. It's clear, so we've got this pile to deal with. So <laughs> they were all folded up at one point. Um, What we're looking at space wise. So I have a three nighties and two pairs of pajamas that are bottoms, longs and bottoms. Um I just all the nighties are from the same place and then both pairs of tops and bottoms are basically the same ones. I would have bought two of the same set, but um, I didn't realise quite how much I was going to love them and I'd stopped doing them. But I found another pair on um, on Olio and not on Olio, um, on Vinted. And actually they were better than my first ones, so um, I went with those. So now we have two like I guess sleep jumpers um just jumpers that I love but are really not right for leaving the house and this this used to be I loved this jumper I still love this jumper but it's got holes in it it's really scruffy but it's so soft and comfy and um, so it makes a good nighttime jumper and then this one is was actually bought from the same company that does the night dresses that I love. Um, but it's like a slouch off the shoulder. So I do actually weirdly sometimes wear in the summer out, but in the winter it's um you can't get a coat over the top of it. So it works well for those days if I've been rushing around loads and I just need a little extra layer over the top. Um, and then I put a scarf on with it for school run or something that works, but not for I still I kind of I don't know, I just always picture it being, I think maybe because the company is from the same company, it was in my 90s that I just presume picture it with that. Um, and then I have this one jumper that fits in. I kind of wear, I, it seems to jump between being a painty jumper and a sleep jumper, but I still haven't got any paint on it. Um, I think I might squidge it in here and then decide and I can always take it out if it doesn't feel like it's the right place for it. One of the things that I always say is you want to think where would you look for the item so where would you go and look to try and be thinking where does this item belong and um, and um, I know I just I always seem to go to my shirt, so there we go three sleep t-shirts and then I can more which has left some space oh no the end of the the, the drawstring has whittled its way up to be fair I could probably just take the drawstring out I'm not going to do that probably just take the drawstring out and it'll be fine um, so if it's um I don't really have matching sets of things that I wear together even if I own the set that matched I tend to not do them together but pajamas obviously you wear the matching set so it's a matching set for me that means I am going to fold it in on itself and so it's just one item something like that but that's actually too wide for the space that we've created so we need to be more creative first to fold it over and then up and up. And then tuck and roll. Oh. 
And what you can do is do, so I've got one space for pyjamas. I'm going to put the nighties in the middle and then put the two bigger sets at either end. I mean, it's rare that I have two bigger sets in the um, clean at one time. So, well, to be fair, this pair isn't clean. These will be worn again tonight. But for some reason, it seems I'm like putting my pyjamas back in with the other pyjamas. And I know some people will be like, that's really gross, putting dirty clothes on it. But it doesn't... It doesn't bother me. So like I went for ages where I would do things that I'd fold out nicely and put it under my pillow, but I don't actually get changed in my bedroom. So that just didn't ever work. Um, right, here's the test. Okay, that just fits, but that's actually missing one item. If I ever have a day where all my nighties are clear, this isn't quite right. Let's go for a little set of halves. That will make a bit of a difference. Yeah, better. Um, oh, I need to stop clicking that. I'm going to make it worse. Um, so what this is where dividers themselves are quite shallow so I'm kind of wasting space because I'm making things lower to go with the dividers whereas if I had actual dividers that worked I could have deeper ones um, and then it would be easier to put those in but they're still they're still a good oh yeah there's plenty of room that fold refolding that one um, has made a massive Massive difference. Um, why have I got a ding dong? Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm pleased with that. There's still space for the other pair of socks, which is actually in here because they are halfway through being worn for a painting job. So <laughs> there isn't any dirty things. Oh, so that one is done. This is the one that I think is going to be quite complicated. So um, we'll go get into it, I suppose. So this is. Hair and makeup, which I don't do a lot of, if you can tell. I haven't actually drawn my eyebrows on today. Um, so I've got my glasses in here. These do not need to live in here. I would 50 50 look for these in there as well as in my desk. So I can relocate this to my desk because I know there's space in my desk. And hopefully, I won't be stoked in here for much longer. Um, I've got some hair extensions that I just do not wear very often, so there might be a better place that those can be kept. And um, my wardrobe or something. And I've got. See, I do have some lovely matching clothes. I don't always just deal with cardboard boxes. Um, I'm wearing my colour palette red. Um, it's funny. This is a. Uh, a lot of similarities between some of my branding colours, teal, navy, and then some of the scopes of the beiges, the peach. Um, I always forget that the peach works with me, but yeah, navy and teal, absolutely love these. So I keep that, I keep that in my drawer. Uh, it really does come out. So another time. I will pull this all back out again and give it a, a proper clean. But so we've got all this that fits in this drawer, and then there's also I also have an extension need in here to put in my hair dryer and stuff like that, which is I want to be able to stay. Um, but then I also want to fit this drawer, which is also full. So this is where it gets interesting. So we have curlers and straighteners that I don't use very much. So they probably don't need to be in the prime drawer. Um, I have hair bits. Uh, again, I feel like we can reduce them down a bit more. More hair clips, again, can be reduced down. A very big pot of cream that's actually my daughter's. Um, so we can probably move that to the bathroom or 
somewhere similar. <laughs> this, if I'm ever going to use it, it's actually bizarrely, it's not going to be in here. So this is one of those things you could have your hair in your curl and it curls overnight. Um, so weirdly, I was thinking of putting this in my bedside cabinet. Because that's the kind, if I went there and get my book out for the evening, just before I go to bed and see this, I'm much more likely to do it. So that's going to be really okay to that. That frees up loads of space. And um, then we have this. So it's a mixture of hair and jewellery bits. Um, that's there. That's just lying. Always lovely to knock over a jug that's got lots of little bits in it, isn't it? Been brilliant actually keeping the hair dryer in this with all the bits but occasionally I use one of these like very very rarely um so I just it's not a good use of space if I'm trying to take up less space and um, so I think some of this is going to I'm gonna keep it all but I think I might actually finally get rid of my Dyson box and and just downsize that little collection and look at having some of my hair stuff on the top of this and um, I've got all my my one two it's my serial number and they have quite a long thingy on them don't they um, that's the story of Dyson ah but it's got the receipt in it that's why I've kept that um, but I don't really need the whole story of Dyson. Um, and this has got my um, my warranty um, and my hair dryer. So it's my birthday present for my daughter, uh, Christmas present for my daughter's birthday Christmas. Um, so I will put that in wherever I decide the extra bits are gonna go. So I'll up that drawer. So this is the one we've got to deal with now. Mm -hmm. One. Uh, huh. Huh. Um, this uh, is my gum shield when I whitening my teeth. Or to be fair, sometimes I use them if I've been grinding my teeth a lot. Crazy oh, talk about. I don't know why you need to see that. Need to see that. Um, I am going to put that in our bathroom overflow stuff that doesn't need to be in here um right oh don't feel there's a huge amount here i can get rid of she says this i'm going to move back to, to my sewing box so keep measure it's quite clever though because you can measure round things so it's more it was gym fitness days you can measure around yeah that was my waist no it wasn't joking um, Never my waist. Um, so that I don't feel like it belongs in here. Is there anything else that can come out of here? Mm. Nothing that would really free up any key space. That is actually it's, it's um, a throat spray for doing big speaking events. I always have this, but. I need to find somewhere to get some more because that suddenly disappeared off Amazon and it's amazing. So if you speak a lot of things, uh, it's called Entertainer's Secret Throat Relief. Um, but it's wonderful. So if I'm ever at speaking at lots of events, I use that. But I don't feel like that goes with this collection of things. Um, that one could also go in my bathroom. That's I've got eczema of the inner ear, that's for that. So that reduces a few bits of that one too. I've had this for so long it must be out of date by now um, and I just don't use it enough so that could go a bit that's easy um, that's done number two um, I've got some this is my daughter made it so I don't want to let go of this but I don't really need it quite hard. It's always a couple of it's just got my it's got a pair of earrings my partner gave me in it as well. 
So I'm going to go for that. Um, brushes, brushes. That's all stuff that we use and need. Mm -hmm. That one's the corner. That's when you've got duplicates of things and you're like, I will use them, but do I really need to keep that many or something? Nope. Um, this one. Not a long one as well. Yeah. I think two of those are plenty. Plenty. Um, now these are a bit annoying because they're just not they're getting kind of angles out and I want them to stand up straight. They kind of get done with being a bit a bit taller. These actually clean ones that my daughter plays with, so I might relocate those to her room. I don't have to deal with them anymore. I would say let's put it down the cotton bud. So we're going to group the bits together. So this is like makeup and things. I've got lipstick stuff together. Just never going to use that. I think I have a vast on the floor now. So lips together. I don't know about that. Cotton bugs together. That's actually my travel perfume. I just don't, I keep my actual perfume here. I don't, I just don't know where to put that because it's, it's more. I know, I know, I know exactly where that's going to go. Um, I keep my actual perfume in here, so eyebrow and eyeliner together, mascara's bits together, lipstick stuff together. is just thinking about what you use with what so it kind of makes more sense um, this is this is cute but don't feel like I need it. I've only got two things that won't fit. Where did this fit in here? No, that's in my room. Did that fit in there? No, that's in mine. Two. I've got two. I don't need this whole thing. I just need a space for two and nothing else is necessarily going to fit in there. So let's pop those back in there because that's the kind of only places that they do go. What we have got is all the hair stuff, so I could use those slots for hair things. That's an option. Um, that and that can probably be sure in the same thing together. Maybe put in there, we'll fit in there. Um, I don't know what we've got going on in here. Down there and there. Doesn't matter if that's a little fiddly because I don't use the, that bottom one very often. And then we've got. So, what I'd like to do is get all these brushes down into one. Um, which, to be honest, I could just do by putting them all in one. <laughs> Just check I want them all still. Mm -hmm. The only one I don't use a huge amount is probably 
Would that be better than that one then? I think I do. I just don't do my makeup that often to be like, this is this is what I use a lot. I think you can go more. I know my daughter had that on because it's not quite a step on it and she loves brushing her eyebrows. <laughs> I, mean, I don't get that either, I'm like, because she, she enjoys it. So. Um, so what I might do is do all the eyebrow eyeshadow ones into there. something to close them up. Proving problematic, isn't it? <laughs> Proving an issue. We'll deal with that issue later. Right. This is a nice easy one because this one can go in here. Two pairs of the bits in there. And then I just got mousse, which I use so rarely. I think can go in the bathroom overflow stuff. I'll remember I've got it. That will last me 18 months at least. In fact, I haven't bought a new one of those since I moved, which was over a year ago. So that, yeah, I do. It's nice to have occasionally, um, but I don't need to have it that often. Um, right, which empties out that bad boy completely. No, I'm going to do that, but it'll come in useful at some point. Oh, right, so we've so got loads of space now, haven't we? Um, ooh. <laughs> um, let's find the inside of the drawer so I know how much room I've got for more. I can go for another. And I've got to about there. So you kind of work right on you there. And then let's see if there's a box that fits in that back bit. Now. We're getting cheeky. Cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. <laughs> this is a nice length. Of it. that and we've got you and you 
probably you and the green. I guess they think people have more brushes and therefore they'd all like pack in better, but I do not. Um, I do not work with those. But the eyebrow, the eyeliner pencils in with them now, they would all sort of shut that. That's not something out. Oh my god, is that very nicely done? Definitely a situation of maximizing space. Project. Is there something a little wider than this? Or narrower? Slightly wider. Not enough to make a difference though. Weirdest game of Tetris ever. Um, is there something skinny that would fit nicely in that? No. Okay. This oh, is proving problematic, this one that didn't fit in earlier. <laughs> Still doesn't fit in now. Hmm. No. I don't like that. But going back to my previous plan. And maybe one of my little pots just kind of just sort of fits in. Make a slight better use of that space. That's not what's going to stay in the pot, I don't think. This was my daughter, we used to use them for the gravy things, but I just just don't use them enough to warrant them having their own. I could probably do that with them though. Still don't think that's the right place for them, but, but they'll probably go with those together. Um, bobby pins and hair clips I have separate, but I use them so rarely they might as well be mixed. Um, these two I do like having separate so I'm going to try and keep these two separate which is the normal hair ties and scrunchy ones. Um, and that empties out two little pots. And then I've got my curly whirly ones. And then these I use so rarely and when I do use them it's with my curling tongs. So these are going to get a little bag. I'm going to keep that one out and keep that one out and never wear it. It's going, it's going brutal, aren't I? Brutal. I'll keep that one little clip there. I need to be pin. Right, that's fine. Well, I'm going to leave it in the pot for now and I'll, I'll find another little bag later. So we are down to these bad boys. Um, how many of these have we got? Two, four, six. Um, two, three, four, five, six. Such a weird drawers that they are looking for. 
loving it but I'm not hating it either um, I feel like these don't work very well in there but they work well in one of these um, so maybe just maybe this in the front I mean these are quite a lot and these are the other ones is the solution we are looking for. Okay. I think this tray is designed for, for the for ladies, for makeup lovers that have lots of colours. I do not. <laughs> I have four in one teeny tiny little palette and that is all I need in my life. Do I need a bit more? Oh, yeah. So the gold and like a nude, a brown and a pink. That's it. That's all I need in my life. Um, so there's that. And there. Oh, perfecto. Perfecto. What I'm going to do is that. And then these aren't going to be too tricky to be able to get out of there, but I don't use them very often, so we'll see if I can try that. Oh no, it fits. Fits in the back corner, wedging the hairbrushes in place magically. Perfect. Right, we've got four of those square. Whew, that's a lot better already. Let's go into here. Just don't mind this enough, that can go. My battery's running out. Oh, I'm told I can't be half an hour. I've been an hour already and I'm nowhere near finished. Um, and these I do use spare straps for my eye uh, for watch. I feel like along with my jewellery that I will not be sorting out today. Oh, I do love these. I just don't really wear them anymore. Maybe I should get back into them. What do you think? So I do quite like that. Um, I've worn them for ages. Maybe it's the positioning of them. They were a bit more front and centre. Something might happen with them. Let's think about that. Um, this hairband I love. This is like my go-to. Oh crap, I forgot we were going out and I haven't done anything with hairband. It's so pretty. It's a denim fabric and it's sparkly and so it's just my, oh, just love it. Absolutely love it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then we have, right, do I want to do this bit back there? You do. Ooh, I'm winning at life. Um, the super skinny one as well that I don't use very much. Um, oh, I think this is time for it to be gone. I used to sweep my hair up with this all the time. I just don't do it anymore. So we can go. Ready to go. You, I do use, but again, I think that is better with the hair stuff in the back of somewhere. And I, I'll remember where I've got that. And then what are you? Oh, sentimental jewellery that belonged to my mum. I think I'm going to move that to her memory box. What are you? Ah, so this whole thing is sentimental jewellery. That I just think. Yes, so a mixture of Mm, from those two, I think one of my grandma's, those are my mum's. Um, I'm going to relocate those to her memory box because I do go through that sometimes. Um, I'm not going to if it's not there. Um, that's my lovely ring. Um, a 
so I don't keep them in the boxes. I do want to keep the boxes. Those are my daughter's earrings. Look on the letter in that box. Um, that is not a jewelry cleaning cloth. I don't know why I've got that. that's actually a glasses cleaning cloth. That's some jewelry of my daughter's. So there's no matter with jewelry. What have we got in here? I think this is not what I thought it was. Um, oh yes, it's a break the necklace of my daughter's is broken. Needs repairing. And then one that was my granny's that I definitely want to keep. Um, um, yeah, that's staying as is. Staying as is. And they're out conveniently, these stacks really easily. So, can I get you no. not without causing you harm, which is a bit irritating. I don't really want it in the regular things, so I need to find, work out the jewelry situation still. Um, Oh, this is a bit tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Are you stuck in there or does that box get in the way? Irritatingly big. I think I'm going to move those two to my memory box. I'm only keeping them for when they're jewelry. They're from memory jewelry, not worn jewelry. And at the moment, it's regularly worn jewelry. Which means I can do that hairband in the bottom. This is going to find a new home in the wardrobe. Right back, I remember I've got it. I know I've got it. I just need to get a few of them. What needs? I have more needs. Brushes that I didn't like, I didn't like them being in this pot. They weren't, they weren't doing it for me in this pot. That worked better. Love it when a plan comes together. Um, so casual hair, that there, that there. And you go back. My glasses that I moved down earlier. Very pleased with that. Yes, lovely, 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 lovely. And 
then I can go back and over the bits that I moved out because I didn't realise I had space and see if there's anything I want to bring back into here. Which there is a couple of bits that I want to bring back into here, so that's fine. Done. Awesome. Right, so you're coming out. We see that out later. Oh. So we're doing quite well. But we've hit the hour. I see an hour flies by very, very quickly, so I'm going to do the rest of this tomorrow. But I'm quite pleased with that. I'm going to make pajamas, hair and makeup, and then we're going to be gym kit, and the rest is still to be decided. Exciting. Exciting. Cool. Well, it's exciting for me because I'm a decluttering geek. Um, anyway, oh, better put this hair down back. Um, hopefully you found that interesting to follow along with. Um, I'm loading these all up onto YouTube as well, so you can check these out there, apart from number two that's been downloaded. Um, so there's that. Uh, we have a series of monthly goal setting, monthly goal setting, of our yearly goal setting um, workshops in November, so the second week in November, the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, it's a consecutive course, so the four nights in a row, um, to come and do all your yearly goal setting. If you want to join for that, make sure you are signed up for the membership and you can come and watch those in the live video section. Um, I'm going to finish this lot up tomorrow. We're also doing a decluttering my daughter's room, so that'll be fun. I'm definitely not filming that because I try not to put her on camera and, um, yeah. So it was a lot to wrangle trying to get a five-year-old to do declutter. She's got some good uh, motivation with the fact that Father Christmas doesn't come and she doesn't declutter some stuff. Um, but I'm going to go and oh, deal with a couple of emails before I go to bed. Have an amazing evening. Thank you for being here for another declutter with me. Um, as you can see, this is this is an ongoing project. I will finish this up tomorrow and uh, maybe show you guys some pictures over on Instagram. Have an amazing day and I will see you soon. Ta-ta for now.